up next, it's a welterweight bout between Jorge Masvidal and Colby Covington. All right, so here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter, though. But ultimately, it's about the fighting, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best in the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Santos fight and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Santos, who is also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goal. All right, here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime representative of American Top Team. You know how happy it would make Dan Lambert if Masvidal could finally break through and win a UFC championship. He's as close to that level as he's been in his UFC career. As he's ever been. He's finally on the cusp of earning what so many people have hoped for for him. But that doesn't happen by accident. The reason he's this close now is because of the commitment that he has made to mixed martial arts. Commitment that he has made to evolving his game, going up to 170 pounds, and also using everything that he has in order to get to where he wants to be. Before, there might have been distractions. Now, Jorge Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. Left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United States. Gave him, a, yeah, one, it gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos coming time! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Game Red. Oh. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, pop up. All Here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. It doesn't always play out that way. But what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Huge knee lands from the tie plane. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, single collar tie now. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, Masvidal on a real flow here, sticking and moving. 
Hoven. The crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. When you think you got him trapped to try to get the score takedown, he evades and escapes. They separate. Great punch. So as we pull up some numbers here, we get 29 total strikes. And now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Ooh, what a head kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Over and over, he's landing. Double lane right down. down. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the grounded pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Jorge Gamefred Masvidal. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw his strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Right punches there. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand, big left hook lands. What a great punch. A little single collar tie there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. And now he's got that tight clinch. Left hand punch with the clinch. Takedown attempt late in the round, and he gets it. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Oh, the triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Okay, listen, this time we take this round. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this round. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks 
will put him to sleep. Good punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, beautiful level chance. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Arch, right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Good work from the top here by Covington. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Relentless pressure from the top by Covington. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Covington. So 95 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Red Hospital. And striking with about 48% accuracy against Colby Covington. Great timing on that double leg. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Gabriel. Lands with the ground and pound. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Covington. Let's go. Work for that back. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 90 seconds now remain in the round. Well, he is grounding, he is pounding, and now he's working the body to great effect. Nice job by Covington. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning well, close, of the finish, end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythms, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Straight punch lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Breathe. Uppercut to the head. Instead, it's blocked by Covington. And we got a fight on our hands. Oh, All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty 
significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this cliff for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight over here tonight. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful point. So one officially 136 total strikes have landed for Colby Cutler. Oh, he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Covington's got his back again. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Covington. <laughs> Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beat. Now this guy is trying to find him. Right time to land the strike that is the fight. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of beating the head. It doesn't take much. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Too. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the two. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Beautiful knee. And now he's got the tie clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 90 seconds now to go in the round. I mean, he's cutting down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. Connects with the punch there. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the... Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whoa. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, nice timely trip there to get the takedown. Fighters back to their feet here. Game Greg gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. 
stuffs the takedown, no problems. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh! Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, he's so able to fight for both fights. And just like that, the fight is over! Holy smokes! Woo! Yeah, brutal elbow to stop his opponent right there in his tracks, and it really takes strong technique to deliver a shot like that to maximize force over a short distance. But man, when guys do it right with those elbows, it is absolutely devastating. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 55 seconds of round number 3. Join the winner by knockout, Jorge David Vazquez! Alright, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.